pretty pretty. Come along. Hey, hey, garden gals and guys, it's Steph with Tiny's Garden. And today I'm bringing you along with me to do some planting with the auger. I'm finally going to get these euchra in the ground that are going to be planted in this corner here. It's a shady spot that gets some sun, but I really want a pop of color here. And I think the variety of these euchra is gonna give me that. Let's come down and take a closer look at what I've got. Okay, we are in the corner here in the most shady spot because this is just north and a little east exposure. Yeah, dinner oh, my dinner's here, thank you. So what I have here, I planted these last year and they came back really well, which is what I believe is northern exposure euchra. I hadn't seen it before and it's this beautiful multicolor. It starts out reddish when it first comes out and then it kind of fades to an amber color between yellow and green. Really interesting, but pretty. And I'm going to add in a forever red euchra right in the middle of them because again, I think the color complements the red in this one. So this is what we've got going over here. And now I'll take you around the corner. And then up here in the corner, we've got more color. And we've got three different euchras I picked out to put up here. We have Citronelle, which is the star of the show. This is almost like a lime green color and it's beautiful. It just pops in this somewhat shaded corner. And I love the dimension it brings with the other colors, which are again, forever red and then also forever purple, which has beautiful variegated leaves. What I like about this placement for these is that it gives this corner so much more dimension. This is what I believe is a burning bush, turns beautifully red in the fall. And just imagine those colors down here with this, it's like this beautiful fall corner. And in the summer, these colored euchra give this a little bit more of a statement, play off of the window boxes. This area over here isn't planted yet, so it kind of holds down this corner, adds more dimension to my garden, which is what I want. So that is why I decided to put them here and using the three different colors in this arrangement really draws the eye over here and I could not be happier with how this is going to look. So what I'm gonna do is I already had them lay out like I want them. So now I'll just come in, move the can, make a hole with my big auger and then put Biotone Starter Fertilizer in the hole and plant the plant and then we'll be done. And I've gotta be honest, this is one of those days where I kind of really don't wanna plant, but I've had these out for about three or four weeks now and they need to get into the ground. So sometimes we have those days where we just have to push ourselves and do it, right? So I'm pushing myself and I'm gonna do it. Three to go, right X. Let's get this finished. quite nice. I am going to come in and water them 
just to make sure they're settled in. But I wanted to mention, I am going to save these pots that they came in, these plastic pots, because I can always start dahlia tubers in here uh, for when I'm starting to put my dahlias up for next year. So this is a good thing to keep if you like to. Sometimes people use smaller ones. I've used smaller ones too. But for some really extra large tubers, this is a nice size. So I keep them in my garage. And there's a bee on me. Now let's go ahead and water them in. All tucked in here. This looks so much better. Love it. I'm gonna show you from farther away as well. So you can see how this draws your eye over to the corner with more interest. Here you can see from our sidewalk leading up to the front porch and you can just see how to the left it draws your eye more over to that corner adding interest and I think it adds much more dimension to this whole space up here. If I pan over we get to our front porch and more color. So without that over there it's just three large burning bushes but the color ties into the window boxes, etc. Really happy I found that space for them. It's gonna be so much better there. And then of course, I've got all this space up in here, along here, shimmied over this way. So much space to add more plants. When we added the front porch a couple years ago, they had to take out some old bushes here that were nothing to write home about anyway, so I wasn't upset about that. Just a standard brush. I don't even know what the name of it is. But we took those out. Left this one in. It's hard to see now because of the angle of the sun. But we also had a huge limelight hydrangea over here that was really pretty. So I was sad to take that out when this construction happened. But I bought another one. I found one for $100, which I thought was a pretty good tr price. This is its second year. The first year it didn't do great. But this year it's looking much healthier. Hopefully you can see, I know there's not much light here, but this will get taller and we'll have a beautiful limelight hydrangea right here anchoring this back corner. So I'm happy about this. The next year it should really take off and look grand. And then this awful eyesore of a gray hose is going away soon. <laughs> it has driven me crazy. It has worked in the interim but I do not like how messy this looks being up front. And finally, let me show you what is here. Da, 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 da! Hose link. It has arrived. I ordered a charcoal hose link. It's been here for about a week now. We just haven't put it out yet, but this is going to go in that corner as well. It should blend in with the black siding of our house. And then I won't have that eyesore of a gray hose just laying haphazardly in my garden bed. So, real, real excited about this. We have one in the back and it is just a regular gray color, but I absolutely love it. So I'm looking forward to putting one up front as well. I will use it all the time. So honestly, this is where I would love some of your ideas on what would you put in this space? It is west facing and also a little north, but essentially, full sun besides back in the corner, but that's why I think this limelight hydrangea does pretty well right here. So tell me in the comments below, drop me a line, let me know what you think I could put in here. Obviously I've got a little room so I, I can have something taller back here. I'm thinking kind of three rows of something or curve something. This part up here I like to plant tulips in, so I don't want anything that's going to not allow me to do that but really it's this space I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet I've just been working on the other side so drop a comment below with your ideas please speaking of the other side this side is coming along quite a bit these at last roses are the star of this bed but I have been able to add some border plants some sedum and creeping jenny I'm liking how that's looking I still have some space though keep in mind back in here are foxgloves that are now out of bloom but those were beautiful and I've also got some seedlings of 
loop in right here that are very small. So I still can come in with some more perennials in here as well, but so far I'm pretty happy with the progress that's happening here. So a day at a time, people, a day at a time, right? So that'll be it for today, everybody. I'm glad those Eucara are tucked in their cozy little colorful corner now, and I think they'll thrive really well there. Very happy that that is all buttoned up now. Remember to drop me a comment and let me know what perennials you think can go into this new front garden bed area, especially the spots that are blank. I appreciate all your feedback and read all of the comments. And also, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel to follow along with all things garden. We'll see you in the next one, everybody. Happy planting. Bye.